What is up everybody, uh, welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm doing another Fight Night Champion video because I'm being a bit lazy recently and I can do whatever I want in my channel. So today what we're doing, uh, KSI vs Jake Paul. Um, it was out a bit out of breath, I've just had a bit of a run. But um, yeah, if this was happening in real life, how do I think it would work out? Uh, I think JJ would win by a split decision. I don't think any of them have the ability to knock each other out because of how good of boxers they are. I put them all, both at a similar rating because I know they are both similarly athletic and both just good boxers equally I think. I think Jake's better in the uh, strength department but Jade is better at speed and toughness. So as you see here, uh, greatest of all time, number rounds 10, do it in 3 minutes, uh, last round only said by the bell. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's do 12 rounds again. Um, obviously, I have some people in the comments saying why would you do CPU versus CPU. Uh, well, because I like to play games on my channel, one. And two, I think it just brings more unpredictable content because uh, greatest of all time is the highest difficulty. As you can see, greatest of all time than amateur. Um, so, I just feel like it brings more unpredictable content. And uh, what I do as well is I only do one recording of this. Uh, of this fight, so um, it's just a bit more predictable as well. So if I lose Jake, it goes out there. Uh, I'm playing JJ, and uh, we'll see uh, what ring we're gonna do this in. Uh, you know what? I think we should do it at yeah Metro Manila Arena or MMA. So how do I think this fight would go in real life? JJ would win, obviously. Support in the UK, Jake Paul's just a cunt. Um, no, no. Um, yesterday you saw me do Logan Paul vs Floyd Mayweather, and uh, if you didn't watch that fight, then I would highly suggest you do that because it was a very interesting fight where we saw a six foot two Logan Paul go up against five foot eight Floyd Mayweather, and I I thought it was a good fight honestly. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, being a smaller man, it just felt a bit more sleek and. Just a bit more punchy, but uh, if you want to know what, what happened, then uh, you can find out if you want to watch the video. Uh, I'll try and leave a card in the top right hand corner, or I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to watch it. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, I'm going to start off this fight. I'm going to let Jake kind of waste his energy like we did, uh, like I do in my actual fights if I'm against someone like Jake or Logan. Uh, I don't know, this YouTube boxing fair, I think I follow Tyson here, like, if you're facing it off like Logan versus Mayweather, I don't really support that, but if it's Logan against JJ or something like that, I fully support it, but like, I feel like just the full on crossing worlds thing is just a bit much, because it's just promoting people with clout to come into the ring, like, instead of people with pure skill, like Ryan Garcia or something, or Canelo, and just it'll kind of ruin the sport it'll just make it a clout chasing sport in my opinion and that's why Mayweather went for Logan instead of someone like Canelo or some or maybe a Pacquiao rematch which I think everyone would like to see a Pacquiao rematch because P oh we're not even rocked early he's rocked early and he's down for a round one knockdown we won that knockdown but he is up at 5, so we've already got Jakey down early, uh, that KSI uh, heart and toughness coming into play. Obviously Jake's got a bit more strength and jade has got a bit more speed. Uh, just And also a couple of you said, uh, how do I do the predictions for the, uh, how do I predict the ratings? Well, I look at some of their fights and their spars that have been leaked and I kind of predict it off that. And, Obviously they're going to be up par with some of the actual boxers in this fight, in this game, but I thought I just wanted to make it a bit of an equal playing field here. Because honestly I feel like maybe one or two of these YouTube boxers, maybe Jake and JJ could actually pair up against some of the lower ranked uh, fighters in pro boxing. Obviously it gets like the Pacquiao and Tyson Fury and shit, hell no. But, I don't know. 
but obviously we can see in the first round we're all over Jakey boy here he's kind of suffering also I've got Jake as a head headhunter because he barely goes for the body and Jay is a bit more of a body stature which I'm not kind of doing in the first round I just want to beat the shit out of his face Five seconds in the beginning of the first round. Could could we do something here? Really first round by us there. I think we definitely won that first round. Jake's got a lot more stamina right now. So I think we'll have to kind of slow down here in the second round and kinda of let Jake use his stamina. As we know him to do in most fights. I mean, we've seen Jake fight Gib, and Gib was a fucking crap. Nate is just a meme now. Deji would have won the fight against Jake if he actually trained. But I feel like we'll have to use this second round to kind of regain the stamina that we lost in the first round here. But, um, yeah, the Obadiah video is coming out on Boxing Day, for you guys wondering. Uh, I just. I kind of just wanted to put parts of a couple of filler stuff in between so it's not just like big upload after big upload so I wanted to do like a big upload, two fillers, big upload, two fillers it's kind of keep it a bit entertaining keep it a bit off Marvel and Star Wars as it constantly is a bit more gaming back into the channel uh, but I hope you guys don't mind these kind of videos and if you do just don't watch them I guess because it's my channel I don't really care much I care about your opinions but I just don't really bother with listening to people tell me what's uploading and shit because at that point I'll just be fan servicing and I just want to do what I think is enjoyable for me and if I find people that enjoy this as well then welcome aboard nice to have you here uh, got some tea and toast uh, got some bananas and some pancakes ready for you if you want some and uh, hope you sit back for a good time but yeah that's how I'm thinking about my channel nowadays it's just I don't really thought I should be uploading for anyone else's sake but my own and in the second round we're not really like Jake exhaust his energy that much we're just kind of jabbing him a bit that first round we absolutely dominated on Jake but if we kind of find some openings here we, just, we need to really get in Jake's face here Cause he can't, oh that's a surprise knockdown by Jake Paul in the second round and right into our face alright take this easy now Jake's finding openings in our patterns so we need to kind of let him use his energy on us instead You can tell I'm a big brawler in this game. And just, as I explained yesterday, it's just coming out here using my stamina a lot. Here we are. Five seconds into the left of the second round. Oh, big punch at the end of the round there. Jake's getting the better of the stamina game here. And we know how well that played out last time. We need to make Jake exert his energy here. We can't afford to let him have the stamina game on us right now. But we do have the damage game on him. We are damaging him more. You got surprised knocked down, yes. But we can win this. We just need to keep a conserve. If we just flick out a couple of jabs every now and then, maybe one or two power shots, then maybe we could secure the round here. As you see here, kind of going for the body a bit in the third round. So I to kind of get his 
body tired here and make him really just try and get the air into his lungs again and then we can take him out from there well, that was a weak shot there from JJ obviously I know that some of you guys do want CPU versus CPU uh, we could do that once in a while maybe for a stream if you want me to stream some games anytime soon maybe we could do a stream tomorrow if you want me to guys um, obviously uh, this is a bit new to my channel Fight Night Champion but uh, you know that right now boxing is a big sport uh, especially with the Tyson Fury AJ fight which I've already said my piece on that yesterday but like I remember JJ like facing off against Joe Weller and how he is then compared to how he is now is a, is a different form is a different animal with the same heart and that is why JJ wins his fights not that he's a good boxer or anything but he is it's just he has that animal gut instinct to go out and kill his prey but we're going to be gasping for air soon by round 6 maybe I put JJ's condition at 91 because of his high cardio which we know him well for he could last he could last up to 15 rounds if he really wanted to but he would tire by then whilst most of his opponents could only last 4 or 5 like we saw Logan just kind of put, pushing out some jabs here uh, nothing too effective Jake's going for my left eye I'm going for his right uh, it's kind of working so far uh, Jake's losing a lot of stamina now yeah. we, so are we so we need to kind of slow down a bit here beautiful shot there beautiful end to the third round here uh, Jake's got a lot more stamina back now damn it we're on 57, he's on 75. We need the stamina game back. And Jake's winning the other two rounds here as well. So I think we need to go for another knockdown here. In this round. Or we should try to anyways. See JJ's wasting stamina now on Jake. Oh! Brilliant attempt here. And he's down! Let's go! That's what we needed. Through his block. And he's down. Will he get up? He's up at five again. But we know the next time he goes down, Jakey, you're done for. It's a good job the free knockdown rule isn't applied in this round. Or in this match. And we've got an achievement for just doing a jab. And Jenkins going to go down again. Oh, Jenkins really close to going down again. You can see the right side of his face severely wounded. And he's slowly walking around the ring. JJ walking circles around him now. felt this slow in my life that was our chance there oh JJ's down and a brilliant left hook from Jake but we're back up we are losing the stamina game and JJ's doing what is what Floyd did yesterday just using that stamina game to its advantage just beautifully oh we're, fuck off no you don't. Oh we're down. Damn it. We're down again. Are we going to get up? 
Oh, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. And we're up, surprisingly. Jade's got a lot more confidence after. And I'm down again! Damn it! And the fight is over. Jake wins in the fourth round. Oh, man. We really did not deserve to lose that fight, but Jake just got the stamina game on us. Damn it. But you know what? Fair play to Jake, man. Do I think that's what happened in the real fight? Hell no. I just played it a bit too brawler type and I just wasted my energy there obviously I hate losing but I will upload this for you guys just tear me apart in the comments but I guess that's it today guys uh, thank you for today's video take care and peace